Here I'll show you how to make formulas based on the background or cell color of cells in Excel. So formulas like count, count if, sum, sum ifs, if statements on cells like this. So we could say every cell that is yellow or dark green or gray, etc. Before we start, check the video description and click the link to teach Excel so you can download the files for the tutorial and follow along. And make sure to subscribe and accept notifications so you can see all the new tutorials. Now this tutorial involves a few steps. We're not only going to be using formulas and functions here. We do need to use a macro. Or we don't have to, but it'll make life a lot easier. So very simple data set. I have part numbers, size, and quantity. Doesn't really matter what you have. Doesn't matter if the cell has text over the background color like this, or if you have a new column here and you have something like color value and then you don't have the colors over here. It doesn't really matter how it's set up. So the very first thing that you do need to do actually is you need to have a new column in your data set. So we want to do something with these colors. We cannot directly access the colors through formulas and functions. So we have to add an extra step and that step first involves adding another column. So insert Let's just call it, yeah, color version. Remove these formats. Now with this extra column, basically this is how we're going to identify the colors. So if you wanted to, if you really, really wanted to, or your data set was super simple, you could just fill in the colors here. Yellow, dark gray, because that's what we're going to do. We're going to use this extra helper column here to filter out all of the colors in the formulas and functions. But this isn't really efficient. So I don't want to go typing everything by hand. I want to use a macro to do this and also look at these colors. They're kind of similar, light gray, dark gray. You can have so many colors in Excel that it can be a real problem. So what we want to do is we want to hit Alt F11. This is going to take us to the VBA, the macro window. Then go up here to insert module. Oftentimes it'll be a small window like this. I'm going to make it big. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste a macro in here. You can just download this workbook. You don't have to write this macro out by hand. And if you want, you can skip the next 30 seconds or so. I'm going to explain the macro. So basically what this macro is, is it's a very simple for next loop right here and it loops through all of the cells that you select and this section right here it's going to be the cell the current cell that is being looped through this will offset that cell one cell to the right so one column to the right this says we're going to change the value of that cell and this says well what do we want well i want something from the cell the original cell that we're looping through what do i want I want the interior color. So what this is going to do is it's going to put a unique identifier for every single color directly to the right of the cell. And it's based on the cells that we select. Now if you want, you can pause the video and write the macro down for yourself if you don't want to download the workbook. Otherwise, let's go to Excel. So it's very easy to run. Make sure you have the extra column directly to the right of your data because that's how this macro works. It's going to overwrite anything that's here. Select the cells that have the background color. Doesn't matter if they have text in them or not. Hit Alt F8. Select the macro. This macro is called List Colors. Hit Run. And what it's done is it's put the unique identifying number for each color directly to the right of it. So this yellow is represented by this number, which you can find down here. The gray is the same thing and so on. Now that we have these numbers, it's really simple. We can do whatever we want by color. I could do sum ifs, count ifs, if statements, anything by color because I've got this unique number that identifies it. So it's really as simple as that. All you have to do is to use this macro, pop it in there, put in a new column, get the unique numbers for the colors, and you're good to go for whatever formula you want. So the next thing I'm going to do in the tutorial is I'm going to run through just a few sample formulas. Let's start with an often used one. This will be a sum ifs. So equals sum ifs. 
Now, let's say that we wanted to sum all of the yellow ones. Well, all we have to do here, decide what we want to sum. Let's say we want to sum the quantity. So I'm going to select the quantity range right here. And I could use the sum if function for this instead of the sum ifs function. Up to you. Sum ifs. Now let's select the criteria range. Criteria range is going to be the color. And now for the criteria, I type in the specific number. So I want to do it by yellow. So I type in the number 65535. And we have 9. So 3 plus 6 is 9. Alternatively, I could do it like this. Instead of doing this 65535, since I'm not going to be doing any copying down, I've just got the simple formula right here. I could just select this cell. I don't actually have to type anything. So here, I hard-coded in the cell. And here, I just selected the cell that already had the number. Initially, when you're wondering how to do things based on background color, you think, oh, that's difficult. Crap, what am I going to do? But you realize it's not difficult at all. So let's do some count ifs. Now let's say what do we want to count. Let's count all of the light gray ones. All right, so the criteria range is this. Criteria right there. How many of them are there? Should just be one. Perfect. Now here's a fun little thing you could do with the if statement. Let's say you have some good and some bad colors. And let's just go equals if this, let's do or, this equals, let's say yellow, we like yellow, 65535, five, or this equals, let's do a light green, so 812-2747, close the or, so if it equals one of those, Let's say good. If it doesn't, let's say bad. Let's make those all uh, values. So now we don't have any more if statements. And I very quickly made a column whose output is based on the background colors of the cells over here. And the last thing I did to make the formulas into the visible values, I've shown this in a bunch of tutorials. I just selected the data. I hit Control C, Alt E S V, Enter, and that was it. So I'm not really doing any complex examples here. All I'm doing is just showing you things you can do with the numbers you have over here in the new color version column. One thing I do want to show, another example before we finish up here, is a more complicated sum ifs. So let's say sum ifs. Let's say we want to sum every part that begins with GSC and that is not light green. Okay. So first, what do we want to sum? Let's sum the quantity. Now, what's the criteria? We're going to make the criteria. Let's do the first one as color. And let's say we do not want the color to be. So here. Do not want the color to be what I say, light green, 812, 2747. And for the next one, let's do the part. And let's make it so it begins with GSC. So a little bit more complex, but not too difficult. Oops, I did forget. One closing quotation mark right there. And we get six. So these are just some examples how you can use formulas and functions along with the background colors of cells in a list. There's really an unlimited number of ways you can do this. One thing I do want to note before I continue is that if you are going to filter the data over here, so we go to the data tab and click filter, you do not need an extra column to filter by the color. So we can go over here, click the down arrow, and we can do sort by color. We can sort by the cell color, how do we want it to, which one do we want to appear on top, et cetera, et cetera, or filter by color. 
So which color do we want? If we only want light green, click that, we get the light green options. So if you just want to do filtering, you don't have to go through all of these steps. And if you only have two colors, well, you can just filter by one color, fill in the color version by hand, and then copy it down, then filter by the other color and do the same. However, this is the easiest way to do it, and it's going to be the most portable between all of your workbooks and your worksheets, because the color version number is not going to change depending on who is typing it and figuring out what color gray or green this is. Now let's remove the filter. Also, you can hide column B. So let's say we don't want this to be here. I could go ahead and hide the column. If you wanted, you could put the column way over here at the end of your data set and then hide it. All the formulas and functions will still work on it. No problemo. But then no one else is going to see it. So you're going to have all this really cool stuff you did based on the cell colors. And no one will see exactly how you did that unless they realize you hid column B. So that's one little thing you can do as well. And that's about all there is to making formulas and functions based on the background colors of cells in Excel. I hope you liked the tutorial. If it was helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And make sure to subscribe and accept notifications so you can see all the new tutorials.